Everybody, welcome to my YouTube page and this week Art of Reading Smoke with Phil Jost, right? So, uh, we're going to look at this fire here. Obviously, they've been here for a while. they got some ladders up. They're uh, fighting fire in here already and um, they're going to have a little bit of trouble. I don't know why, right? But they're going to have a little bit of trouble getting to this fire room that we're going to get a chance to look at. But where we're going to focus our energy or our visuals this time is on this... Um, gable vent here and right now we have I'd say a moderate amount this is not a little bit of smoke I don't think it's a lot yet um, so the volume is you know sort of in that middle zone uh, it doesn't have a ton of energy but has a little bit right so it's it's not really cranking for turbulence but it's not really laminar so it's sort of in the middle um, and um, it's pretty thin you can see through it and stuff uh, the color is white right so this is relatively early stage heating or there could be some a fair amount of water vapor in here. You can see as we look around the whole place, there's a lot of steam coming out, a lot like all the way down this edge, back over here. That would indicate to me that they've, they've been fighting fire and that makes sense based on, if you go watch the real video, or the original video, um, they're talking about how, how they can't find an access to get into this room uh, where this fire is that we're gonna see. So we're gonna focus on watching as this fire develops, which is over here, on this side, right? We'll call out the alpha side. So we got some ladders here and Delta Charlie back here. Um, as we get over there, we're going to see this fire develop, and they don't hit it right away because there are folks inside. I think, right? I don't know, but I think they're trying to coordinate that action, right? Um, so we're going to—they're going to stretch the line to the outside while they're working. We can see this fire develop, and already, right, a pretty significant increase in volume, velocity, density, and color color's gone all the way to black. Um, we maybe went through brown, but it might have got fat, uh, um, fast. But look at now. Look at the volume and velocity over here. Now, as this fire develops, this is going to continue to get worse. One of the things to recognize is that uh, as this comes out, right, you're going to see there's water vapor in here, so there's going to be some condensation around the outside of this column. So we're trying to look as close as we can to where it comes out of the um, structure. And here we can see there's a fair amount of black, pretty gray in here, so a fair amount of black in the smoke and a lot of turbulence. And as this um, fire grows, right, there's still a little bit of, of panes, uh, window panes in there. As that thing grows, look at the turbulence uh, increase over here out of that, right? So the volume, velocity, density, color gets worse as the fire gets bigger. It makes sense, right? It's not rocket science. We just want to connect these things in our mind so at some different fire we can sort of maybe understand what's going on, even if we can't see everything like we can here, right? Um, so we're going to get another look at it here in just a second. And notice that, like, this is really cranking out of here now. It's really cranking. Um, there's a couple other things we can notice while we have this stopped. And this is something that, we that I talk about a lot when I'm teaching reading smoke is looking at these windows. And look at the difference, right? All these windows are basically the same. But look at the difference between the way these two look up here and the way it looks down on floor one, right? So there's a significant impact on these two windows already. And like I said, based on my understanding from watching the video, that's because they've been there a while. There was fire working, but there's certainly smoke in that space. Almost completely flashed over in that room right now. It's a pretty good mix, right? Uh, there's air there's air getting in there, turbulence, but look at that. Lots of turbulent, thick black smoke coming out of this E. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to get to see is they're going to hit it from the space. So they're here, they don't have a great angle, but they get some water in here. They swing around and they get in from over here. And whenever we see water applied, the first, visually, the first thing we're going to see from a reading smoke pr perspective is a rapid, right, a billowing, lots of billowing steam, right, which is what we see here, right? Um, the color just gets better and better and better along here. Um, there's still some turbulence coming out of this end over here, but the color has changed. Now, when they switch and they get to this other end, right, so you can see a lot more water vapor in there right now, which, of course, makes sense. But we want to connect these things in our mind. Still a little bit of fire over on this side. They're going to hit it from this side. We're going to get another chance to see that smoke coming out of the gable end. And again, we have massive, right, massive amounts of billing. But look, look at the difference that's made in a relatively short period of time. 
all the way along here where even when they were first hitting it there was a lot of smoke right um, some of it black but now it's almost all um, clean pristine dissipating we got a little bit of color in here but clean pristine dissipating here this this billowing versus turbulence right overall just a significant change the other thing is there's a there there there's a neutral plane now um, at this window right so the the neutral plane's re-establishing itself in that space increasing visibility down low and overall i'm sure temperatures are way down in the second floor in the in that 20 to 30 seconds right so look at the difference here right um, if we go back to maybe like writing oh before they started hitting it right before they started hitting it let me get there <laughs> right okay so here look at that right there along here there's there's some pressure then they start hitting and we're going to get a significant increase and there's some pretty good color in there right so overall um just copious volumes of billowing steam um, with that first application of water we walk, we'll watch them walk around again and we'll see this all change in relatively short order as these btus as the fire is knocked down so it's not creating BTUs and then those BTUs are absorbed by the water water that they put in there right in relatively short in relatively short order they have a pretty big impact on this fire so I said in this case it's well into their fire attack for various reasons but um, if you were uh, early on scene and, and it looked like that if you if you want to take some of the energy out then this this would be a this would be the impact that you're having in a relatively short period of time is um, almost all uh, billowing steam at this point now there's still an underlying fire there's still overhaul and digging out and all that kind of stuff right but um, you know searches etc cetera, etc cetera, right but from the initial right what we saw you know a minute ago till now a significant improvement in you know decrease in temperature reestablishment of the neutral plane and copious volumes of billowing white smoke slash steam coming out of space i'd want to still keep an eye on this end um, and uh, see what happens over the course of time but that's a good visual for us to see see that fire grow see that change um, in increasing volume velocity density color application of water the change in the smoke right that that progression is something that we can build into our memory so we have that um, for the next time that you're at an incident scene and you're in either uh, making the decisions or you're taking the actions what do you expect to happen right you should have an expectation and what does happen should be all in alignment right with that expectation as well so for the art of reading smoke with phil jose uh, if you want to see my class schedule it's in the show notes um, teaching a lot of great places this fall and we got some stuff scheduled into 2024 uh, if you want me to come out and see it just send me a, you can send me a message here on Facebook or I mean on uh, YouTube or you can hit me up uh, Phil at ignitionpointtraining.com all right so for the Honor Reading Smoke with Phil Jose I'm Phil Jose and I'm out <laughs>